Is it time to join the mob that's circling back to the oil and gas group? The last few months have been absolutely awful for fossil fuels. Oil peaked at $130 in March. Remember when people were saying 150, 150? Uh-uh. For plummeting to the high 70s late last month. Even after today's big bounce, it's only back to the low 80s. Natural gas did hold on for longer, briefly hitting 10 bucks in late August, but since then come down hard, sinking to six bucks and change as of today. But remember, it did hang at three and four for a very long time. And of course, the oil and gas stocks have been obliterated. Central banks around the world, led by the Federal Reserve, have raised interest rates aggressively in order to tamp down inflation, causing a global slowdown, which means less energy use. A weaker economy translates directly into lower demand for oil and gas, and of course, therefore, the stocks of the producers that we follow so closely. And that's why this piece is so necessary right now. The demand is not the whole story here, though. There's also the supply side of the equation. And today we got some big news on the supply front. The price of crude jumped nearly $4 off a of Reuters report that OPEC Plus will be considering a major production cut <laughs> over a million barrels per day when the cartel meets later this week. That's why I think it's a good time to talk about a new oil and gas producer that I bumped into recently. It's called Permian Resources, and that was created last month from the merger of Centennial Resource Development and the privately held Colgate Energy Partners. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.